South Korean military intelligence says that the DPRK recently carried out a missile test where several missiles were fired on the northern end of the country out into the sea more towards Russia. Now these missiles were said to not have even left North Korean territorial waters. These same South Korean military officials are saying that this missile test is actually quite routine and in that it's probably not a coincidence that this comes at a time when the U.S. and South Korea are carrying out joint military operations in the country with the specific intent to try to intimidate the North. The fact that these missiles were actually fired on the northern end of the country away from the south and into the sea more towards Russia shows that these missile tests were not intended to cause any provocation with the south. Well, you could most certainly say that had they tested the weapons more to the south near the border. However, this does come at a time, well, that the U.S. has tens of thousands of U.S. troops in South Korea, all of which all the time are made ready to declare war on the North. Right now, the, the North is actually being threatened and are facing provocation on the South with U.S. military power there actively engaging in drills for attacking the North. Obviously, the reality of this has not been lost on the DPRK. And in fact, the Korean Central News Agency released a statement regarding it. The U.S. and South Korean war maniacs applied the tailored deterrence strategy to this drill for the first time. It is a grave military provocation and dangerous mock operation aiming at mounting a preemptive nuclear attack on the DPRK. It is not the first time that the U.S. revealed its attempt for mounting a preemptive nuclear attack on the DPRK. What is ridiculous is the Washington often repeated the pretext that its scenario is to cope with the nuclear threat from the DPRK. But this is, however, nothing but a poor excuse to justify its attempt at a preemptive nuclear attack, the U.S. escalating nuclear threat and blackmail and preparations for war of aggression against the DPRK is absolutely intolerable as it is a serious infringement upon the sovereignty of the DPRK. This missile test by the DPRK is an infinitesimally small fraction of what you, the U.S. war machine actually has. And frankly, there's billions of dollars of U.S. military spending inside South Korea right now with the express intent of intimidating the North. Well, as we've seen through all through history, this has done nothing to frighten the DPRK. In fact, they have declared their intention to go right to their very death to defend their national sovereignty and independence from U.S. imperialism. The people of the DPRK are not going to be cowed by such techniques. They are not afraid of U.S. imperialism. In fact, they are very straightforward, prepared to die in order to defend their independence. Thank you for watching. Please comment and rate the video. If you liked it, hit subscribe or check out some of these other great videos. If you wish, share it on social media. And while you're at it, why don't you follow me on Twitter? And if you got time, go on over to the MRN bookstore and check out some of the latest books available.